if you can't afford certain things yet, it's okay. It's fine. You know, there are other ways that you can still improve yourself. Just do the best that you can with what you have. Hey y'all, it's your girl from Elio. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning in. Make sure to like this video because it helps other people to see the video. And make sure to subscribe because we have awesome content on this channel. Today, I'm gonna be talking to you guys about some different ways to invest in yourself. So I love how everybody's on the wave of like self-improvement and just trying to be the best version of themselves, especially on TikTok. If you watch like a lot of the TikTok videos, maybe it's my algorithm because I've been liking certain videos that have been popping up and the the women are just like speaking so much like good information and the men too so i just made a list of things that i thought would be helpful in order to improve yourself and different ways that we can all invest in ourselves so let's get to it the first way is <laughs> one of the things that i've done recently is like you know i went to the dentist and got aligners so my teeth are like they're crooked or whatever it never really like it never really bothered me but then i did start to notice it in pictures and stuff like that and i was like okay well i might as well get this done and get that like nice teeth because i will say i do notice though that some people's teeth is just like beautiful i know it's um the what do they call it porcelain veneers or something like that so that is like i don't know if you're into that that's something that you can get done but there's like different type of dental work i don't think i will like get veneers or anything like that but i'm just like okay let me at least just straighten my teeth so it like will improve my smile but that's that's something you can do when you like have the money for it it's no rush if you can't like if you can't do that yet you can go ahead and just like just do like normal like the crest whitening strips i gotta start doing that as well or just like make sure like you're keeping up with your dentist visits and making sure at least things are clean but again with everything that is said here just do things you can afford i'm 27 and i'm just now like doing something with my teeth and it's fine i was fine before like in terms of like if you can't afford certain things yet it's okay it's fine you know there are other ways that you can still improve yourself just do the best that you can with what you have and i do want to make sure to say that as i'm going through the whole video don't ever feel like you gotta go beyond your means in order to you know or put yourself in a bad position but if you can make the investment like if you have the resources where you can you can do it and you feel like it will make you happy then you could do it but Regardless, you'll be fine, but it is a way. And even with the aligners, I also wanna say that like, you don't have to get Invisalign. There are other ones, like there's like, I didn't end up getting the Smile Dental ones, but I did do like the consultation with them. So there's Smile Dental, there's Bites. What's the other one? I feel like there's another one too. Like there's so many different types. You can try and find like the most affordable version for yourself, but people rave about Invisalign though. That's the one I hear the best stuff about. They're just different things. You're looking for a deal. Another one is your body. So you can invest in your body by like exercising and eating well. I know I feel my best when I exercise. Um, I could be so much more consistent, but it's okay, it's a new year, you know? It's every, every day is a new day to be better. So there's that, you just feel better, look better, improve your confidence and stuff. And then I notice when I eat better too, my mental is better definitely something in that like my mind is just clear and i don't feel as weighed down or as like sluggish or just like blah you know we all like to have our sweets i definitely have a huge sweet tooth i love ice cream as well but we gotta figure out a way to make sure that we're inputting foods that can help us out so that's always something that i have to keep in mind especially with going out to eat and stuff like that the next one is skin with your skincare so i do notice that the better you eat though the better your skin tends to be but as well as that like investing in actual good skincare products so i have been heavily on tiktok and i have been seeing the girls are talking about medical grade skincare i'm doing my research on that type of stuff but i can't vouch for anything Thing in particular to be honest when it comes to that i don't have anything medical grade but i have heard really good things about i think it's called tretinoin or tretinoin i don't know how you pronounce it so it's something that i do plan on looking into i really like college choice products and there are a couple other products i like too but i'm gonna try to like get a skincare routine but i think like that's a good way to invest in yourself as well as like getting uh 
facials like you can do facials yourself at home and like you can even dermaplane at home like uh, or you can go to like an esthetician to do it i bought like one of the dermaplaning blades like a set of them from amazon i haven't tried it yet but <laughs> but yeah you can also go to an esthetician another thing that people are doing is the the chemical peels for your face like if you have hyperpigmentation that's something that i deal with um i know that that is supposed to help out a lot another thing that i have seen on tiktok is a lot of people doing like turmeric masks or a different type of masks so i do want to play around with doing masks to like see if that helps out with hyperpigmentation for me so that might be something that you can also look into too but definitely investing in our skincare can be a game changer another thing i saw is people using like some sort of red light i've never done that one though but the gua sha too i bought the gua sha and i bought the like the roller that i believe it's called the jade roller i bought that i don't use it so often occasionally i use the gua sha but i kind of mimic the movements of the gua sha with the way i wash my face i saw somebody do it i think i saw it at first in like a youtube video or something like that but yeah i heard that that can really be helpful and then also to be like cautious of uh the effect that certain foods have on our skin and uh, i know like certain things i eat that can like just mess like you know cause me to my face to like uh form pimples or just to like look off or you know what i mean there's certain foods and stuff like that that can also like swell up my face and you know so it's also being cautious of how your body responds to different foods as well another way to invest in ourselves is eyebrows so like getting your eyebrows waxed or threaded i've done both i used to get them waxed years back but then i some years ago i switched to threading so i'll get my eyebrows threaded or like if i just want to chill and save money in the house i'll just do like some self-grooming and i'll just use some tweezers threading is usually the best in my opinion because it lasts it, it's very precise and it, if you get a good person and it lasts uh, for a long time, and especially if they get your shape right, threading, I can go like monthly. It depends, but like I can do that. And then also like for the eyebrow tint, you can do that at home. I don't know if you have to use specifically something for your eyebrows. That's what I heard. I heard that you're supposed to use something specifically for your eyebrows. But I also, during the pandemic time, I was using the Just For Men. <laughs> to dye mine at home and it's just like it's very easy so there's that again like you know we can make things affordable but maybe you should buy the one specifically for your eyebrows probably most likely I, I, you know that's to be safe but uh yeah i was using just for men the one for the beard another one is your eyelashes so some things that uh you can do to invest in your eyelashes is just like you can create like a growth serum i had a video on my channel about like you know the different ingredients and stuff like different oils you can mix and you can put them on your eyelashes and they can help them grow you can also take different like supplements that can help with overall hair growth hair skin and nails you know that type of stuff you can also like get the fake lashes um lash extensions individuals because i'm not talking about like makeup and stuff like that we all know that you can buy makeup and uh, lashes and all that type of stuff to invest in yourself that goes without saying but this one is just like for stuff that will make like your day-to-day -day easier lash extensions it is a game changer i would say that junk is expensive and it can be like low-key addicting you just keep going back and back and eventually it will like you know make your you might have to take a break to let your lashes rest or whatever because it will like affect the growth of your lashes well not the growth but like i don't know it just it, it do something to them but lash extensions is so beautiful too but i had to relax because that that's like an expensive investing in yourself because you got to keep up with that another one is you can invest in your eyes and that one is by like getting glasses so like if you you're having trouble seeing go to the doctor uh, for your eyes and let them check your eyes and then figure out your prescription then you can get like a good set of glasses i need to get new glasses you wear them all the time so it makes sense to invest in your glasses as well as but i used to lose mine luckily i didn't lose this pair thank you god but um yeah <laughs> could also get contacts too i i don't wear contacts but that's another one that you can get another way to invest in yourself is to invest in your hair like investing in your hair care routine i need to work on this i'm not consistent with like a hair care routine i need to take better care of being on top of like my natural hair and everything like that so that's something i gotta work on but that's a good way to invest in yourself getting uh hair extensions or a wig is just like an easy 
way to just like throw something on every day and just keep it moving and then just have like your hair underneath like done and everything i gotta make a new wig myself uh <laughs> gotta make a new one but i just find the wigs like so convenient or like you know extension just any extensions to like getting braids and stuff like convenience hairstyles where you don't have to wake up and do a lot every day but you do you are gonna have to do something for most things like even if you get braids you're gonna have to gel your edges another way to invest in yourself is make sure that your nails and your toes are groomed so that could be like doing manicures and pedicures at home or going out and getting them done it can be a nice little treat honestly i enjoy it another way to invest in yourself is invest in your education yeah, so your education, what's going into your mind. It can be self-help content. It can be going back to school. Maybe you want to go back, get your master's or go back and get another degree. It can also be um, reading more books that are pertaining to whatever you want to get better at. It can also be in getting a certificate. You know, maybe you want to take a course that will empower you more in your career or take a course for whatever business venture you want to embark on or get a coach. That's also like education too, somebody to coach you through whatever you're, you know, you want to do, whether that's career wise, business wise, as well as personal. They're life coaches as well. Another way that you can invest in yourself is like learning a new language. So that's a great way to challenge yourself, learn a new skill, and also make yourself more marketable if you're, you know, in the corporate world or whatever so yeah and great way to communicate with other people so i think that's that's pretty dope another way to invest in yourself is networking so by meeting new people and expanding your network going to conferences that's another way you know kind of like joining different communities that's definitely something that I want to work on this year. We'll see how it goes though, but <laughs> I do want to like uh, go to more conferences and uh, network with people there and everything. So that would be pretty cool. Another way that you can invest in yourself is by investing in your living space slash environment. So let's say you want to move to a new city. That's a great way to invest in yourself. You're forcing yourself to have to grow and be on your feet immediately when you <laughs> move to a new city because you have no choice. You just got to get it together. So that's a great way to invest in yourself and like to expose yourself to a new environment, push yourself out of your comfort zone and everything. So that's pretty dope. Another thing that you could do is like maybe invest in your living space in terms of maybe you want to move to uh, a new place um, whether that's like a new apartment or wherever like just moving apartment new condo whatever like you're a relive or whatever or maybe you're buying a house so that's a way to invest in yourself by like what's around you even how you like have decorated your living space that you live in now and that's something i gotta put more um work in is like fully decorating my place as well i've got some stuff but like i could really make it more you know of something you know make it give it a little more pizzazz <laughs> but that's a way to invest in yourself another way to invest yourself not just like moving to like a new apartment condo or house but also moving back home can also be an investment in yourself that's something that i don't want to say is like i don't think it's 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 held in as such as much high esteem but uh it's phenomenal to be able to go back home save your money lay low and just reflect and just stack you know stack up i've done that and i think that was a great way to invest in yourself and just really regroup as to like okay what what do i want to do and then from there move intentionally to maybe that new environment that new state that new apartment whatever so yeah but um those are some ways that you can invest in yourself and comment down below if you have more ways that we can invest in ourselves because i would love to know so i can improve myself and i'm sure other people would want to know what you have to say as well but thank you so much for watching make sure you like this video bye Let's start.